Hello and welcome to this tutorial on batch processing in PhotoLima. I briefly mentioned in my overview video that if you're the kind of person doing artistic photographs, you probably want every single photo to have its own tweaks and nuances. That means that PhotoLima probably isn't for you because every photo is going to be different. They're all works of art, right? But if you're the kind of person who is producing, a, who takes a lot of pictures and needs to push out good quality, maybe not works of art on every single one, but good quality and well exposed images across say, a batch of 50, the batch processing side in PhotoLima is extremely powerful. So let's take a look at it. To open up the images, you just funnily enough click on open, and I'm going to go to a load of images of myself because that is the kind of self centered vain person that I am. No, seriously, it makes things easy around usage. And also, I know that these were all taken in a similar lighting environment. The exposure is not the same on all of them, but it gives you an example of a batch of images that may be taken and you all you want to sort of process them all to look similar. So I'm going to take all these, me wearing my blue shirt here. Uh, let's just go and select all of those. These are all taken on a Nikon D750. And you can see that they're all sort of, the idea, they're all sort of studio lit, if you like, but they're not all the same exposure. So to batch process these, well, I can either just export these as is and just go to export here, save to disk, and then choose my export options. And when I do that, they'll all be exported and they'll all be processed with the default settings. However, in PhotoLima 3, you can also apply settings you can look at one image apply certain settings to it get it looking the way you want and then apply that settings to those settings to all the other images and the way you do that is let's just open this one here let it do the processing which it's doing now and there's the difference <laughs> this, this needs removing in the background so we've got a bit of lens correction there and a fairly nice difference between those those two and I want to apply a style to this one as well. So I'm going to go and apply the Evolve style to this, which on its own is a little bit over the top. I don't really want that much applied. So again, going down here, reduce this level of that style just a little bit here, level of the whole. So probably around about there. And I now want to apply that to all my photos. So while I'm in the photo here, I just right click and do apply these settings to all images. And when I do that, if I it starts doing its stuff, my CPU is being used. If I, in fact, open up my task manager here, you'll probably be able to see. that it's pretty busy at work doing its thing. So it's now running through and applying these settings to all of these images, which it's now done. So you now get a thumbnail with the same settings applied to every single image. So now when you export them, of course, you go to disk and I'll do some advanced settings and choose a different location. Yep, that's fine. Desktop test export. I think I might have deleted that folder, but never mind. And we'll do them all at 100% quality. And I'm going to resize them to... 2000 on the long, long edge. And there's a reason I'm doing these at 100. I wouldn't usually recommend 100. And what it does now is redoes. So even though it's had to do that initial processing to do the thumbnails, it does now reprocess them all using those settings. So if we go back into my perform into into here. You'll see that it's kind of it uses all your cores pretty well. It doesn't sort of hit them against the wall. Utilization is pretty good though. So it's clearly doing something. All right, they're all done. Now, depending on the spec of your machine, that can take a bit of time, but it doesn't really matter because you can just go away, leave it to do its thing and come back and go and make a cup of tea or something like that. So reveal an explorer. And we now have, I'm going to remove those because they weren't part of this. We now have all those photos processed using the PhotoLima settings. If you're wondering what these pictures are, by the way, my friend wanted to test out some lighting settings, so I was kind of just a model for him for the afternoon. 
and I now use these images in just random YouTube and work stuff. It's as simple as that. That's all you have to do. Uh, what I'm going to do now is close down Photo Lima. I'm going to op open up JPEG Mini. Go to my test export folder. Select all these photos and drag in the 100% quality JPEGs and get them all reduced in size by JPEG Mini. So that's all there is to it. Batch processing in Photo Lima, really straightforward, really powerful. It's, as I say, speed varies depending on CPU. It can be quite CPU intensive and can take some time. But you know what? It doesn't matter because it gets the job done pretty well and uh, in overall is going to save you a lot of time because you don't have to open up every single image, go into it, adjust it and make it look how you want it. It'll just go through the lot and make them look pretty decent. Thanks for watching. See you soon.